Well, as you heard, it's 12 o'clock noon on the 4th of May 2017 here in central Germany. And as you can see, it's not a particularly pleasant day as far as the weather is concerned. It's been raining, which is good. We've had a, we had a very, very cold, very dry spell, which caused everything to uh, get kind of gray and brown. And now things are verdant green again. And we... Um, don't mind the bad weather or at least the rainy weather outside because there's plenty of work to do in the house and that's what I'm going to be doing today is working in the house uh, I'm going to go on with my carpentry work laughably called carpentry work it's just actually fitting the uh, the last uh, baseboards in our private living room up on the third floor. We're on the fourth floor right now. This house is about 50 feet tall. And people have asked me when I when I make a video from up here if if I've made it from a helicopter. Uh, it is a tall house and we're up on the fourth, like I say, up on the fourth floor. This is used to be my room up here. <clears throat> I've moved down to the third floor now. And <clears throat> The view from up here is very good, of course, as you can see. Off in the distance there, it's quite hazy. It's a very pretty area we live in here. And we enjoy the beauty of nature around us all the time. So, but now I'm going to take you downstairs to the, to the third floor, where we're going to start putting in uh, the rest of the baseboards. And I have a pr little project, Karin, decided that she didn't want baseboards all around the room we have to i was going to just build a little box to cover some heating pipes <clears throat> but karen decided it would be nice to have a a kind of a bric-a-brac shelf or um bookshelf it's at floor level i mean it's just above floor level so um it's kind of an unusual thing but since we have a lot of buddha figures and and other knickknacks that we can put out that gather dust uh, we'll have a place a place to put them there. All right, so this uh, enough introduction. We're going to go down while the bells are ringing yet. Go down to the third floor and start there. This is the room uh, we're going to be working in today. Um, and you've seen this room before. We just recently uncovered the floor and um, the flooring and oiled the, uh, the wooden planks. And now I'm putting in the baseboards around the edge there. You see that <clears throat> piece that I put in there. Uh, it's just sitting there at the moment. I have to, um, I have to, I'm going to use uh, my nail gun and nail it in place. Uh, speaking of nail gun, if anyone has any suggestions about this, I have been having a terrible time with these um, uh, compressed air fittings. When there's pressure on the hose, I can't put them together. They just won't go together. I've tried every I mean, I'm not particularly strong, but you can't, <laughs> there's no way you could put more pressure on it and they will not go together. Whether I pull the ring back or not, that has no influence whatsoever. It's just like it's completely blocked. And if I, if I take the pressure off, that is I disconnect the other end, uh, then I can uh, use it. Uh, then I can connect it, I mean. So uh, I don't know if it, <laughs> I can't imagine doing anything wrong. You just push them together and then pull pull the ring here to, to take them apart again. But um, I'm sure having a problem. And also what I've had, it may be that I just don't use them enough or something, but uh, today it happened twice that when I disconnected uh, one, um, it the, the coupling here didn't close so that, uh, 
air just escaped the whole time and I had I had to push the coupling back in again and really push it real hard to try to get it to release. In any case, I'm having a lot of silly problems with these things. They waste, waste that kind of stuff wastes an awful lot of time. Okay, um, anyway, what we're doing here, the, the other project, a really bigger project, if, the, if you can call it that, is <clears throat> to build this um, shelf that Karin wants around those pipes there. You can see those heating pipes there. We can't remove those because they provide heat not just for this room, but for also the the rooms upstairs. You see that the pipes go up to the wall, to the ceiling there. Um, the the central heating was installed in this building long after it was built, 30, 40 years after it was built. So um, the pipes are uh, above ground, so to speak, which isn't a problem. But here we would like to hide that those pipes down there. And uh, I was just going to build a simple little box around them out of the same wood but like I said Karin decided she'd like to have a kind of a, a, a wide um, well it's 30 no it's yeah 30 centimeters 12 inches wide um, shelf there for books or knickknacks and um, it'll go around the corner it's going to go from from here where the pipes the vertical pipes, sorry, where the vertical pipes go up, up around to here, to here. We don't want it to go any further than this. This will leave open because we're going to put a couch, a sofa in here, and we don't want it to, to be blocked there. So that's the plan. Uh, I've got all the wood that's laying on the ground there, actually, what I need. I'm using uh, oak, solid oak, um, flooring and oops, let's see here if I've got one. These are tongue and groove. I think I've showed this before. Sorry. <clears throat> let's get this up here like this and like this. And a little bit higher maybe like this, yes. Okay, these are tongue and groove. As you can see, I guess here, here's the, here's the groove, here's the tongue. What I do is, I, for, for, this, for the baseboards, I saw the tongue off, and then I use a welder, and, can you see that there? I round this, corner off and leave a leave a little step here sand them smooth and put a little oil on them and that's the whole baseboard um, they fit together nicely of course because they're tongue and grooved on the ends too so that I can just push them together then and uh, <clears throat> that works fine what I'm going to do with this uh, let's see oh there's a telephone what I'm going to do with this uh, shelf is the same thing, I'm going to cut the, the tongue off, but I'm going to put one of these in front of it. Excuse me while I get the telephone. Well, that was just Karin checking up to see if I was doing my work here. Ah, not really. She's at work. Andor is with her. Valentino is here, but he's upstairs sleeping, I believe. So I'll put this one board in here. And we'll... Uh... Anyway, you, I, I guess you... I get the... Give you the idea of what these um, baseboards look like. They're very nice. Uh, it's nice uh, oak. I think I've mentioned it before. This is German oak, German oak trees that were that are growing in Indonesia. <laughs> A German family took them to Indonesia in the night in the 1800s, and uh, they're now uh, taking in the. Um, uh, I mean, uh, they're now cutting down the trees and uh, turning them into oak planking that they sent back to Germany. They're much nicer than the ones here because uh, they're, they were raised just for that purpose and they don't have any, um, they have very few knots, they're very, very, it's a very nice wood.
All of this effort uh, you see me making here was for naught because I had picked up the wrong piece of wood <laughs> and I failed to notice that, <laughs> that it uh, still had the tongue on the top and um, as a consequence of course it wouldn't fit in. So I had to uh, get the right piece, the right piece of wood and get the other one out of there and uh, in the process, I determined that the radiator, the end of the radiator piece, had there was a piece that was uh, um, welded on, and it uh, the weld had broken off. So I have to figure out some solution for that too. But now I've got the right piece of wood in there, and it's going into place, and we can. Uh, finish up the job. I'm going to go ahead and put in the um, the uh, cove molding as well now on that piece because that piece is done all the way from that corner to that edge there because that's where the uh, shelf is going to start. This end here I'm going to cut at a 45 degree angle because there's going to be cove molding along this beam here too. These are the beams that we had to leave in from the wall that was here when we took the wall out and I'm going to finish that off down at the bottom there with cove molding along the floor. So I'll cut those and then I have to use shorter nails in my nail gun for those and uh, we'll finish it up. I don't know how well you can see that, but that's uh, finished now. I've got the, the cove molding in. Well, here you can't see it because it's under the, under the radiator, but um, it's all finished up. Uh, there are a few little spots where it doesn't close up uh, on the wall because, of course, the wall is very, um, or I mean the floor, because the floor is... Uh, is old and it, uh, it's not smooth even, so I'm going to put um, some brown acrylic in there just to uh, fill in the gaps. <clears throat> it won't be noticeable when it's done. So that's that much. Now I can um, start over here on this wall and finish that up. And then when I'm done with that, I'll go around to this side here and finish that wall around the chimney there. And um, that to the door. When that's all done, then I can come back here and do this, uh, do this ledge or shelf. I think I'll stop here and now make a short bit, or not short, it's unfortunately not as short as it should be, but um, in any case, I'll make a video out of this and then uh, do a part two and part three or whatever is necessary. Thanks for watching and commenting and subscribing and see you in the next video.